Welcome back to another video to the only channel that posts every single day anime content. I don't know for how long I'm going to do it, but every day anime content. So subscribe, like, do whatever. Anyway, today I'm talking about my take on Dr. Stone and how it's going in my opinion. Now, Dr. Stone right, has had two full seasons. Let's give some backstory or summarize Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone takes place in a post- world where humans are very limited some have been born from all the people that was in the space station that did not see the big green light that turns them to stone i have not read the manga so i don't know if that has been explained or not but a big green light turned everyone to stone the some people did survive the mass statuization by being in space so when they came down their offspring right phil you know built a small little village now Sanku the main character here does do science so he figures out he, well one he counts the days shout out he counts the days to when he wakes up or breaks out of the stone anyway he finds this magical fluid to basically rebuild society he he t heals his best friend and uh, Tsukasa Tsukasa is a is a teenager that can throw hands with a lion for some reason. Now, they farm, they build this, they hunt, they do their tents, and they eventually, and Senku eventually finds his descendants because since they come from his father, that, I mean, they're related to him too. I don't know how further along in time that is, but watch the anime. It's, it's, I don't know. If you want to do that calculation, cool. Anyway, now, Captain Tsukaza, that he, that he, revives basically is now a threat because now he wants to have world domination and not have the pressures of the world basically come back if he brings a lot of people back from the statuization knowing that they're not dead they're just petrified they all they all have a sense of self and the only way to kill them is to destroy their statue and there's a cute little ending at the end with all the people in the statue it's very cute anyway this show only goes downhill for one, it's boring, right? It's not the most boring show, but with all the science, you really have to keep up with what they're talking about. You know, it's a lot of dialogue. And when the action scenes come on, you have to remember that they're all teenagers and that he's using science to advance themselves in wartime against another teenager. It is the most absurd thing. Because not only with the action, you have to hear E equals MC squared, with the 2 plus 2 equals 4, the 6 plus 6 equals 12, and then I made a cell phone, a computer, long range, telecommunications. You know, he does do all of this through science as he's trying to get humanity caught up to where he was in the current timeline and even surpassed the current timeline with this bronze age, stone age to technological age that we live in. Right? And of course, no social media. No, 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 no. None of that. Um... But with that, it just comes with so much dialogue. And if you're not a real big fan of like science, a real big fan of the monologuing he really does in this show to explain everything, that he can take two to three episodes of monologuing about it, it will not be fun. Tech, I'm waiting for the third season to come out. I think Stone Wars has yet to come out or has come out because I've dropped the show. I don't know if it's come out or not. Tell me in the comment section below. But if it has, man, that show is boring. It doesn't rev up with action. And with the contemporary, basically with Fire Force, because they've been competing with each other since they came out almost the exact same time. It's no competition. It's No, no one likes the monologue in the science. I don't know if you like it. Let me know about your thoughts. Comment section below. But the first two seasons, I would give it, of course, a 5 out of 10. Because of the monologuing and the action really is... Th throws me off when... I watch it, of course, and almost made me drop the show. I may drop the show in the third season if it hasn't come out already. If Stone Wars has come out, I already dropped the show because I didn't know. Anyway, I will see you in the next one.